sewing project lookbook the grey knit dress with a flounce that's coming up. Hello Fashion Zone, I'm Colleen G. Lee and welcome to FSB TV. If you're looking for clear and concise video tutorials, consider subscribing and let's get started. I've more or less stuck to the design that I planned, which was this one. I showed it in a previous video of the collection that I was doing for my autumn and winter 2017. So um, there's a couple of changes that I made, which was to the neckline and the hem line. So I've actually got this seam running through where the blouse is here and it is amazing. Look at all that bounce and it looks amazing on. I just love the way it dances around you as you walk. Um, that's one of my favourite things about blouse at the end of um, a hemline. The neckline is not as deep. Um, I'll go through showing you how it looks and the changes that I've made and the addition that I've added to this which kind of gives me two outfits in one yeah two outfits in one so I'm going to show you that right now so here it is the fabric is absolutely gorgeous it really is oh I love grey anyway all shades well not all shades of grey but I do love grey. This particular shade of grey um, I actually do love. So the neckline is not as deep um, and one of the reasons for that mainly is because I wanted to show off as much of the fabric as possible and um, throughout that design process and fitting of it it's like I could have had an opportunity to lower it if I wished and that's the important of fit when you actually are doing your projects and um, particularly if you are designing as well and you, you have the opportunity to change it once it's on you you can see how the fabric drapes on your body shape um, so I'm totally happy with sticking with my choice and also the sleeves are uh, fitted sleeves and it really is fitted right down to the wrist and a very narrow hem and it is hand sewn that gives it the quality the couture element to my um, collection of garments I do do I look I do like hand sewing because I know the results that I can get and if I want my clothes to last a long time and I want my clothes to look um, elegant and expensive then that is one process that you need to do if you are wanted to go down that path of making quality clothing. Um, the next change that I made was to the hemline. Just look at that. When you walk, that just bounces around. That is gorgeous. So as you can see, I've got a seam running through. I wanted to kind of build it into the body of the dress um, but and I was, I was trying, to, trying to do a technique where I was um, using steam in order to stretch the fabric a little bit um, but it wasn't allowing me to do that so it was like I had to choose another alternative because I knew I wanted to keep the flounce so um, it's a gorgeous movement that I have with the flounce and again the hemline it's very narrow a narrow hem and you use a slip stitch I'll put links to um, the video tutorials or the techniques that I've used in this dress in the description box and the hemline so you've got the flounce here and then you've got this little band that's on the inside now um, I do like experimenting with um, my clothing I like to change it up so that it keeps me creative and forward thinking in my design process. So um, that was really to do with movement of the garments and see if I can get the flounce to kind of um, drop in a certain way and it has helped, definitely. 
and it's more or less the same back and front. The back is no different, I'll just turn the back. Apart from the neckline, which is slightly higher because it is the back. And that's it. Totally happy with the results of everything to do with this project. So the addition that I made to this was, is this little neck warmer. So I can get two looks out of this dress. So when, when I don't want to wear the neck warmer, then I've just got the neckline and it's great and I love that. But you may also know that I love wearing chokers. So what I'm going to do is try and see, I should be able to, get some grey velvet ribbon so I can make a neck warmer that will go with this because I think it just needs that element of detail um, if I'm not wearing the neck warmer. The neck warmer is gorgeous as well. I just love the way that I have the neckline resting onto the neck warmer and that added element of is it fitted? Is it sewn on? Is it not sewn on? Um, if anybody wants to, you know, look a bit closer. Now I'll give you a peek on the inside of the dress. Because I know we all love to do this, to see how things are made. And I'll share some of my secrets, but not all. So this is the inside of the dress. So there we have the bend. And... Let me just get the sleeves. And then we just have the sleeves. And, and then I'll just turn it over. On the back, I'm, I'll share this with you. I added some lining to this, this knit lining. It's a micro knit lining to the back of the dress. And, and because with knits, you will get, uh, depending on the type of knit, some bagging around the seat area, around the bottom area. So this will help to not give, will help to not bag out that area in particular. So it, I tend to just, it's, 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 it's okay, it's, I don't like it that much against my skin, but it's, it's, it's okay, it really is okay. Um, I just tend to, if I'm working with my knits, just to put it onto the back and I don't go all the way to the shoulder area because it's not necessary. So, um, and I've got just plain seams. I don't like, 
it depends on the project really but I don't necessarily like my seams to be surged when they are surged or overlock when I'm working with knits even with my t-shirts um, that I make um, they, they have to just be plain seams it's just just the way it is isn't it it's, you have your own way of doing things and that's the beauty of making your own clothes you make the choices of how you want your inside of the garment to look as much as you do on the outside so that is it that is the wrong side of my dress and I am so proud of my of my um, little net warmer as well. So I enjoyed doing that project. Um, everything that I wanted to do, I've achieved and that's the beauty of making your own clothes. So if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Do leave a comment. Do subscribe and when you subscribe don't forget to hit the bell because that, that way you will receive notifications and um, I will leave links to the techniques that I've used in this particular sewing project and I will see you next time.